Oh my god. <laughs> this game's only getting over the top, man. That was, like, horrible. Horrible voice acting. Okay. Plastic bag and a health drink and a health drink. Look at this guy. Hey, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> Something strange screwed up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. Just hanging out here, buddy. Take a look at that plastic bag. Totally ordinary transparent plastic bag. This is from a trash can. Hmm. Bloodstained white robe is hung up on the wall. Doesn't mean anything. Who cares? Ow. Yeah. Shit. Well, this is the second floor, and everything is closed. So that's it for the second floor. Probably gotta go to the first floor now. So back to the elevator. Hopefully it works. Yep. Going down. Happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Ah, this is the first floor where there's a hundred things. Took a right first. A book. What's this? The world is teeming with unnecessary people. And God, it's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. What the shit? I see this and I want to ask him, so you, so you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. He opened this door. Oh shit. I don't want to go there yet. I want to check all the rooms. I'll come back for that. Might be a save point. There might be some health. You know, these other rooms. <laughs> Fucking dick just runs up to me and punches me. Oh, here goes the fucking audio bugs again. My health drank up. I got hit by something that wasn't even visible. Nice. Here we go. This is that main room. chairs. So there's nothing in this room. It's just a way to get a breather? Probably. That's what it's looking like. Yep. Alright, I gotta go back out there. Check out all the other rooms against the wall. Oh, we got a nurse, too. Every assortment of enemy out here in the fucking hallway. Oh, we got a save point. An ampoule. A handful of dirty syringes on the bed. I'm not about to use them, that's for sure. <laughs> a memo. Dr. Midkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim, too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true according to the head nurse. I don't think he's a good person 
Other, I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. Huh. 312. Well, let's save up. You fucking bitch! Oh, this is blocked off, so I gotta go back. Alright, we gotta use that cremated key. This door over here. Is this door? Yep. <clears throat> what do we have here? Ran right by that bitch. <laughs> Aw, oh, back to these stupid walls, I can't see shit. Alright, well. Let's see if we can go right, probably can't, right or left. Probably have to go through all these here. It's annoying because I can't see anything. Like, I know it's creepy, but it's just fucking really annoying. I can't fucking tell what's going on. Look, I can't even see these guys. Where's the next room to look for? I'm next to rooms that I can't see. Oh, this one opened. Oh, lucky me. A room full of nurses. Uh, uh, nurses with bad audio bugs. This one's spinning in place. Look at this one. Fuck you. Oh, come on, attack her. She's right fucking there. Stab the shit out of her. Okay, kick this one right in the mouth. Put her out of her fucking misery. Bitch. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that was exciting. We got a lot of items here, look. Health drink. Health drink. First aid kit. Oh, no, three hurt health drinks and a first aid kit. That was certainly worth it, although this, this uh, fucking sound effect's annoying. What's that? There's something on the ground. Is it a birthday card? Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. Let me write that down. 14 plus 7 plus 17 equals 38. But it's not my birthday. Oh, my controller's vibrating, which means I'm hurt. Yep. There we go. Whoever wrote this must be trying to tell me something. It must have something to do with some combination. 14 plus 7 plus 17 equals 38. Shut up. Well, here we go. I can't see shit. Can't tell where I am. In front of a door. Alright, that one's not working. Nope, that doesn't work. She hit by nothing. It's just so silly. Alright, we have a door on the left. Or not. It was never there. Nope. Another door on the left and then door straight ahead and to the right. Aha, this one opened. Another save point. Good. What the hell do we have here? Look at this. The title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake. Drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise it to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. There was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious practice near, religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. There's a stretcher here, not just your normal stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture or something in the picture? Huh. Well, 
Who cares? This is different. Seems like this was drawn a long time ago, somehow. Huh. <laughs> time to save. <laughs>